Welcome to Supernova. Businesses play a crucial role in our lives, providing goods, services, and employment opportunities. But as the pursuit of profit often takes center stage, ethical considerations can sometimes take a backseat. In this video, we will explore the ethics of business, and how businesses can balance profit and responsibility. The world of commerce has always been a complex and challenging arena, with companies striving to succeed and thrive in a highly competitive environment. But as the role of business in society has evolved, so too has the need for companies to consider their ethical responsibilities, not just their bottom line. In this video, we will explore the concept of balancing profit and responsibility, and examine the ethical considerations that companies must take into account as they navigate the business landscape. At the core of the ethics of business is the question of responsibility. Is a business only responsible to its shareholders, or does it have a broader responsibility to society and the environment? In recent years, we have seen a growing demand for corporate social responsibility, as consumers and employees push for businesses to take a stand on issues such as climate change, labor practices, and inequality. Some business leaders argue that the pursuit of profit is, in itself, a form of social responsibility. They argue that by creating jobs and generating wealth, businesses are contributing to society in a positive way. However, critics of this view argue that businesses have a responsibility to minimize their negative impacts on society and the environment, and to contribute to the common good beyond just generating profits. One way that businesses can balance profit and responsibility is by embracing corporate social responsibility. This means that businesses integrate social and environmental concerns into their operations and decision-making processes. For example, a business might prioritize sustainability by investing in renewable energy, reducing waste and emissions, or sourcing materials from ethical suppliers. Another way businesses can balance profit and responsibility is by adopting stakeholder theory. This means that businesses consider the interests of all stakeholders, including employees, customers, suppliers, and the wider community, rather than just prioritizing shareholder interests. By prioritizing stakeholder interests, businesses can build trust and goodwill, which can in turn lead to long-term success. Ultimately, the ethics of business come down to a question of values. Businesses must decide what kind of impact they want to have on the world, and how they want to be remembered. By embracing responsibility and balancing profit with a commitment to the common good, businesses can build a brighter future for all. Part 1. Profit versus Responsibility Profit and responsibility are two important concepts that often come into play when considering the success and ethical considerations of a business or organization. Profit refers to the financial gain or benefit that a company or organization receives as a result of its operations or business activities. Profit is usually measured in terms of revenue, or the amount of money that the organization brings in, minus its expenses. Responsibility, on the other hand, refers to the obligations or duties that an organization has to its stakeholders, including customers, employees, shareholders, and the broader community. Responsibility can encompass a wide range of issues, including ethical business practices, environmental sustainability, and social responsibility. While profit and responsibility may sometimes seem at odds with one another, in reality, they are often interconnected. For example, a company that prioritizes responsibility by implementing sustainable business practices or investing in its employees' well-being may ultimately be more profitable in the long run, as it can help to build customer loyalty and reduce costs associated with turnover or environmental damages. Part 2. The Stakeholder Model the stakeholder model is a business framework that emphasizes the importance of considering the needs and interests of all stakeholders, not just shareholders, in decision-making and operations. A stakeholder is any individual or group that can affect, or be affected by, a company's actions, including employees, customers, suppliers, investors, regulators, communities, and the environment. The stakeholder model recognizes that a company's success depends on its ability to satisfy the needs and interests of all of these stakeholders, not just those of its shareholders. 
Under the stakeholder model, companies are expected to engage in stakeholder management, which involves identifying and prioritizing stakeholders, understanding their needs and interests, and taking steps to address their concerns. This may involve implementing policies and practices that promote social responsibility, environmental sustainability, and ethical business conduct. Part 3. Corporate Social Responsibility Corporate Social Responsibility CSR, refers to the concept that businesses and organizations have a responsibility to act in a socially and environmentally responsible manner, beyond simply maximizing profits and serving the interests of shareholders. It involves taking into account the impact that the organization's operations and decisions have on society and the environment, and seeking to make positive contributions in these areas. Another key concept in the ethics of business is corporate social responsibility CSR. This is the idea that companies have a responsibility to contribute to the wider social and environmental good, beyond simply maximizing profit. CSR can take many forms, from reducing a company's carbon footprint to supporting charitable causes or promoting ethical labor practices. By prioritizing CSR, businesses can build trust and loyalty among their stakeholders, as well as creating a positive impact on society as a whole. The goal of CSR is to create sustainable and responsible business practices that benefit all stakeholders, including customers, employees, shareholders, and the broader community. Many companies now view CSR as a key component of their business strategy, recognizing that it can lead to improved reputation, increased stakeholder loyalty, and better long-term financial performance. Part 4. Ethical Leadership Ethical leadership is a leadership style that emphasizes ethical values and principles, and seeks to promote fairness, justice, and responsibility in decision-making and behavior. Ethical leaders prioritize the well-being and interests of all stakeholders, not just their own, and act with integrity, honesty, and transparency. Of course, none of these approaches can succeed without ethical leadership. Business leaders must set the tone for the entire organization, ensuring that ethical considerations are woven into the fabric of the company's culture and operations. This means leading by example, prioritizing transparency and accountability, and creating a culture of ethical decision-making. Ethical leadership is important because it helps to promote trust, respect, and cooperation within organizations, and can ultimately lead to improved organizational performance and stakeholder satisfaction. By prioritizing ethical values and principles, ethical leaders can create a culture of integrity and responsibility, and help to prevent unethical behavior and decision-making. In conclusion, balancing profit and responsibility is not just a moral imperative, but also a strategic imperative for businesses in the modern world. By adopting a stakeholder-focused approach, prioritizing CSR, and fostering ethical leadership, companies can create long-term value and build sustainable relationships with all of their stakeholders. Thank you for watching, and we hope that this video has given you some food for thought on the ethics of business. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe to our channel, we will see you on another one.